Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My last video, which was not last week but the week before, was my June inventory update and I was saying I was really excited to get that up because it meant I could get on to my sixth month inventory check-ins and updates of the goals that I set out at the start of the year versus where I am halfway through the year. Now I did miss last week's upload so I'm really sorry about that. I, I, I was away last weekend and I would completely forgotten basically that, that I thought it was this weekend I was away. I just mixed up the dates. I wasn't organised enough to like pre-film to have something ready for me being away. Um, so apologies for that but we can now get into those six month updates which I'm really excited to share with you all and I thought today we would start off with my perfume update. So this is six months on so these are the figures the figures in this video and in these six month update videos will be taken from my june closing inventory figures versus the opening of 2023 so that's the six months that we're reflecting on even though probably by the time i'm posting through all of these it'll be august because it's the the last sunday in july today so uh, it'll be august before we're actually through the six month updates but uh, they are the figures from the end of June, from exactly halfway through the year. So let's get into the perfume ones. So in terms of the opening figures, I opened 2023 with 47 items in total in my perfume inventory. And that was worth $4,772.87. Throughout the year, I have added in two. And the two that I added in were worth $96.25. One of them was my Jo Malone perfume that I got when I went to London. My gran bought me that as a gift. And another one has been a sample that I got in a beauty box. In terms of what I have used, I've used four worth $38.95. I've decluttered one perfume which was worth $18. So where that leaves me in terms of closing off June, so at the sixth month point, my quantities have gone down. I have gone down from 47 to 44 because I've used and decluttered five, added in two, so obviously more have gone out quantity-wise than have come in. However, the value has actually increased. So the value started at $4,772.87 and at the end of June, the value of my perfume inventory, $4,812.17. Now in terms of the goals that I set for my perfume inventory, I really didn't set a lot for this year because last year I had a quantity driven goal. So this year I really wanted to be able to just use my collection and rotate between them. And I, I use and I wear perfume in a way that's very responsive to my emotions and how I feel on the day and what I want to project that day. And whether it matches with what I'm wearing, you know, if I'm wearing like say velvet as a texture, I want a perfume that goes with that or you know if I was wearing something really hyper feminine I will maybe want to cut through it with you know a fragrance that is um you know maybe a bit sharper maybe something a bit green something even a bit sort of traditionally masculine so I do like to wear perfume in a way that is responsive to what I'm wearing or doing that day rather than just because I'm trying to get through something I'm not somebody who has like a signature scent that they just wear every day regardless of what they're doing, what they're wearing, etc. So I really wanted, after pushing myself to really try and finish loads of perfumes last year, I really just wanted the space to enjoy my collection this year. So I only put one goal in place, really, and that is to use up my Silent Street perfume. So that is this perfume here, and you might recognise it if you're watching my Project Pan videos, because it is in my 2023 Project Pan giving you a bit of a spoiler there for the next update of my project pan actually. This mark here, this is the most recent one and I'm marking it upside down so this is what is left of this perfume. So because of how little I've actually got left to use in it, I am not remotely worried about hitting that goal like I definitely will finish up Silent Street by the end of the year, not going to be a problem. However, when I had initially set that goal, my plan was also that nothing would come in. I kind of hadn't allowed for that in my head. So my plan was, with my opening total being $4,772.87, to use Silent Street, which is worth $160, and that would bring me down to $4,612.87 at the end of the year from the initial opening. However, obviously, I have added in. So what I think I'm going to just slightly amend the goal here at this point in the year is to say that yes, hitting Silent Street, finishing that off, that's my main plan. But I would also like to get my value down to the $4,612.87 or under that it would have been if I had only used Silent Street 
but also hadn't had any additions this year. Right now, at $4,812.17, using only Silent Street, worth $160, would close my inventory at the end of the year with no further changes, no further additions, etc to be $4,652.17. So that is $39.30 more than it would have been if I had not had any additions this year and had only used Silent Street. So my new goal is basically to also finish up $39.30 worth of product on top of Silent Street. Now I could set about that a couple of different ways. I could use one full size but small size perfume. So I've got Penhaligon's Blend and Bouquet, that is worth $48 and it's a 30ml size that I've got of that. But Penhaligon's Blend and Bouquet, to me it's it's a scent for the sort of time of year that we're just coming out of actually here in Scotland. It's a scent for the sort of warmest of weathers, the sort of citrus and black pepper, very clean, really really nice and I, I could wear it in winter, it's not an offensive scent or anything like that. But because I really like a sort of heady, rich scent, I wouldn't want to wear a scent like that in winter and a lot of the scents that I have really aren't appropriate for summer so when I do have one that actually works in those hotter months I like to leave it to use in the hotter months. So I think what I will probably do is I have got this little set from Guerlain so I think I will try and finish this. These three samples are worth $13.50 each so if I use the three of them that exceeds the $39.30 that I want to use up. What I'd like to do is definitely concentrate on finishing Silent Street first. The thought process here is that I think I could finish Silent Street and finish these and still get reasonable use on something else if I was to put a perfume into my 12 pans of Christmas. Um, whether I will end up possibly putting this set into my 12 pans of Christmas and just letting it be what it is or whether I will try and use this and put another perfume into that project to try and get the use of it in the run up to Christmas. I'm not quite sure, but I feel like saying that I'm going to do it through the samples leaves me open to either trying to finish these, then start a perfume into my 12 pans of Christmas if I want to, or I could probably rotate enough between these and a perfume in my 12 pans of Christmas and the odd day using other things in my collection in the run up to Christmas without kind of sickening myself of any of them so uh, that's that's my thought process is that it's probably going to be these that will take me over that goal so that's that's where my head's at with it and then just the other thing to acknowledge obviously is that where I am right now is $39.30 away from the goal but if I get any further samples of anything in I will need to try and use them as well to get them out and that might end up if I, I mean I've got no other, like my birthday has passed now, I didn't get any perfume for my birthday so the next time I would be gifted perfume realistically would be Christmas. So I can't really foresee one coming into my life before Christmas to be honest in terms of full size one so I think it would just be any samples that I would have got with like beauty boxes or buying replacements and one comes as a gift with purchase or something. That's the only way that I see perfume really coming into my life between now and the end of the year. So any samples that I have coming in I want to also be able to finish them. So I think again that probably means finishing the samples rather than committing to finishing even a small full size perfume to get to the goal. It leaves me with the space to use them as well if that makes sense. So I did say the perfume update would be the shortest of all the updates and that is everything that we've got to say in it. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.